I'm very pleased to be here to participate in this uh, e event, which is an uh, unusual event. Um, to me, seeing so many of uh, achievers over here, young men and women who have excelled in the area of, um, of engineering, along with their parents and their support group, uh, it's a very, it's a very nice feeling to see that uh, there is uh, there are there are two aspects to how I feel about it today. One is, of course, that we have a large number of people that we should be recognizing. That's very nice. But I think it's also very important that an organization like the Sujana Foundation exists that can take this idea of um, I think that such kind of participation of uh, corporations, industry in India, in academic life is not very uh, common, and I'd like to congratulate uh, the chairman of the fund of the group, uh, Mr. Chaudhary, uh, for doing something like this. The coming century, they say, is going to be the century for India. Everywhere you read, and we're going to be the biggest economy. We're going to be a superpower. And whenever I read something like that, I always worry because the numbers that we have to cope with are very large. Uh, we will pretty soon have 500 million young men and women. The, the, the age group of 20 to 25 years is going to be a very, very large number. And we need to educate also very large numbers of people. 200 million is the kind of numbers that the uh, Human Resource Ministry talks about. How are we going to achieve all this? How are we going to actually become the superpower? We are not going to do it unless we learn to excel. Awards like this remind us that it is important to excel, but I think these awards can also challenge us. It's always possible to find people to give an award to. But to have to select from a large group, it makes it much more of, of... I would like to remind all the young awardees today that this is just a start. What is expected of you now is the second part of it. We need to innovate. We need to, to convert what you have learned in your classrooms, in your laboratories. You've got to convert that into products. And these products and these innovations Unless you do this, we will never be able to achieve things for our country. Most of the engineering that is taught today, and very much of what we produce today, these were invented and created elsewhere. There are some things that we did in our own country, but not enough. The pace of innovations in this, that the pace at which innovations are made in this world is very high, but still the focus of where these innovations come from is not where they are most used. So India is a great market, India is a great place for all these innovations to be tried out, but they are not the place where innovations come from. And that is where the university comes in, because universities are a place for basic research. I feel that it would be very nice if some pro some fraction of the awardees today, give some thought towards research, because without research, that part of innovation is not going to be possible. So uh, while congratulating all the awardees and, and their support groups for the award today, I'd like to also put, put it to you that this is just the beginning, and the real challenges lie ahead that we have to innovate for the country and a lot of innovation is going to come out of engineering and it will come out of research.